what we have to do, if we had to get out there and walk these wooded areas, whatever, we know she's somewhere out there. And we coming, baby, we're going to find you. We might not do it today, but we coming and we're going to find you. This is the story of Kiara Wiggins, aged 39, a married woman who vanished off the face of the earth without trace, until her husband stole a car and ended in a 30-mile police chase which led to him being arrested after not responding to the request of the police as a person of interest in the disappearance of his wife. Her husband declined to help in the investigation but her body was later found two months after her disappearance in the woods. Hello and welcome to Twisted Crimes. Subscribe and hit the like button for more stories. The Sampson County Sheriff's Office says that the husband of a missing woman is not giving up any details about where she is. This story will be taking us to Clinton, North Carolina. This city is the seat of North Carolina's Sampson County, named after Richard Clinton. He was a brigadier general of the North Carolina militia. Clinton is known for some of its popular attractions, which include Hubs Farm, Sampson County History Museum, Timberlake Golf Club and many more. Kiara Wiggins, aged 39, was born in July 19, 1982. She was affectionately known as Boo Boo. She attended Clinton High School and she was employed at Smithfield Packing Company. Kiara joined St. Peter United Holy Church when she was young and there she accepted Christ as her Lord and Savior. She enjoyed spending time with her niece and nephews. Kiara was a sweetheart, a people person and would do anything to help anybody. She had a big heart to go with her big smile. Everyone that met her, instantly fell in love with her according to her family. She was the kindest, kindest, sweetest girl you'll ever meet. Kiara would end up marrying a man named Carl Wiggins, age 49. They had a nice wedding and they hoped for the best in the future, little did she know that the person she just married would bring an end to her future. Kiara was very close to her family members especially her sister Judy Murray who became worried after she had not heard from her in days. She kept trying to find a way to get in touch with her but she could not find her whatever way she tried. According to her sister Judy, Kiara was last seen alive on June 9 at the home she shared with Carl in Roseboro, North Carolina, a small town of about 1,200 people 24 miles east of Fayetteville. She tried to get information about her from her husband Carl but he just would not help. Here's what the family tells us about Wiggins. They say he and Kiara were married for about 10 years, but they didn't know him very well. They last saw Wiggins on Saturday, where they confronted him about Kiara's disappearance. Wiggins responding to their questions by saying she was with a friend. He said, he tells me, she's with some friend. I said, well, tell me the friend that so I can contact them to get my sister. And then he just blew up. The lack of empathy and willingness to help locate Kiara would be the beginning of the family's suspicions. They reported her missing June 18th because they had stopped hearing from her daily as they usually do. The police decided to bring in Carl for some questioning but he was nowhere to be found. He was missing in action for a couple of days until on the 17th of June, the police got a hint that Carl had stolen a black 2003 Ford excursion with a license plate KM2969. At this point warrants were on file for Carl Wiggins for felony larceny and possession of a stolen vehicle. He is also wanted for questioning in his wife's disappearance. Kiara's family thinks he may be involved in her disappearance and potentially her death. I'm sure she's not here with us no more. But let us find her body and put her at risk. While authorities search for Wiggins, who they say is armed and dangerous. We looking. Baby girl, we're going to find you one way or the other. That's right. One way or the other, baby girl, we looking. Kiara's family says they'll keep searching. I need closure. Yeah. That's what I need. And I am not going to be satisfied until I get some closure. A twist in the case came on June 23rd when Carl Wiggins, who was wanted for questioning in Kiara's disappearance, led police on a pursuit on Interstate 40. Oh, this is very, this is very fluid. Yeah, very fluid. My assumption at this point, he is going to, we're coming up on 40 and 440. My assumption is he's going to merge around staying on 40 and working his way into down or towards downtown, just staying on 40 at this point. And we can see exactly how many people are, are, are really out there on the freeway in his area. But now they're slowing back a little bit. Okay, he's merging over. Uh oh, he's. Oh, he's crashed into the, into, the guard, into the guard barrier. I don't know if maybe he had a tax strip beforehand. At this point, this pursuit is going to be over with. He's getting out. He's running across, as you can see. But this is over. I mean, he's not going to go very far. 
he is not going to go very far. With law enforcement there, he can, he can try to dodge and weave all he wants. i got to get back over there, you guys, so just bear with me for a minute. Kiara's family was elated when they heard about the capture of Carl, hoping that would lead them to Kiara's body. Desperate to know what's happened to Kiara. Gilbert? Yeah, Leah, Leah, let's put this in perspective. It's uh, June 23rd. She's been missing since June 9th. That's two weeks that the family has not seen Kiara Wiggins or her husband for that matter. So uh, he was captured on the, after that high-speed chase on I-40 and brought here to the Sampson County Detention Center. We've got footage of him actually going in. We want to roll that for you and show you that. Uh, he's been on the loose for uh, a couple of weeks now. It only took him just a couple of seconds to get out of that patrol car and go into the building. And that's where the questioning now will begin hopefully it will lead to the whereabouts of his missing wife and I was able to show it to both his mother uh, to, to Kiara Wiggins mother and her aunt and I want to roll that to you and you'll see what her uh, aunt's response is when she sees his face for the first time yes <laughs> yep that's him what's going through your head now that you saw his huh? face and see him going in there I want to go I want to go down there Carl Wiggins was processed on charges related to the stolen vehicle but refused to answer any questions about his wife's whereabouts. Police hit a brick wall, they thought the capture of Carl would help solve the case but two months on, they will still where they started. The Samson County Sheriff's Office says that the husband of a missing woman is not giving up any details about where she is. Kiara Wiggins was last seen on June 9th and her husband is in custody right now after a multi-county car chase yesterday. He was wanted for a stolen truck and for questioning in her disappearance. CBS 17's Judith Ratana joining us now live from the Sheriff's Office with where that investigation stands and where it goes from here. Well, Carl Wiggins is asking for a lawyer before he's willing to talk. The sheriff tells us in the meantime, they're going to be searching that truck he was found in to see if that gives him any clues about where Kiara Wiggins is. I spoke with her mom briefly today. She and the family are hoping Carl Wiggins can give them any information about where her daughter is. Carl Wiggins currently faces five new charges after leading police on a chase in a stolen car. When they told me and called me, told me they think they called him, he leave a little bit of the burden now for me. I kind of feel kind of heavy. I just want him to come on back out and tell y'all, uh, tell somebody where he at. Following the multi-county police chase, the Sampson County Sheriff's Office offered a $5,000 reward to anyone with information that leads to Kiara Wiggins being found. Now, with Carl Wiggins in custody, Kiara's family was hoping for answers. Well, until we find the body alive or dead, you know, we've got to have hope that she's still alive. Sheriff Jimmy Thornton is holding out hope his detectives can find Kiara Wiggins alive, even without help from her husband. Definitely complicates. It doesn't make it any easier. Investigators have 962 square miles of county to search. We've got locations. Can you say what those are at this Cannot, point? Cannot, sorry. Investigators continue to scour 962 square miles of the county, with specific locations in mind. They would get a lucky break when they got a new area of interest to search for Kiara Wiggins' body. After two hours of looking in the area near Boykin Bridge Road, authorities found a place where dirt appeared to have been recently disturbed, possibly by digging. The sheriff said they brought in a cadaver dog to the wooded area and the canine was able to give a positive alert. The State Bureau of Investigations was called in to assist and as agents processed the scene, a female body was unearthed. A body has been found in the search for a missing woman in Samson County. Now the medical examiner is working to identify the remains. All new tonight, we're hearing from the family of Kiara Wiggins, who feels confident the body found is that of 38-year-old Kiara Wiggins, who disappeared in early June. WRL's Joe Fisher caught up with family members. After a two-month search, Jackie Williams believes a body found in a wooded area on Boykin Bridge Road in Clinton on Monday is her sister, Kiara Wiggins. They don't know for sure, but they do have a high possibility that that's my sister because of a tattoo on her forearm. My heart is heavy, I'm nervous, and I just want to know why. 
In the midst of the search, Wiggins' husband, Carl Wiggins, was arrested after leading police on a 35-mile high-speed chase in a stolen car. He remains in jail for that incident, and Sheriff Jimmy Thornton says he's been unwilling to answer questions about his wife's disappearance. She didn't deserve nothing, nothing at all like this. Investigators found the body about 10 miles from the apartment Kiera and Carl shared in Roseboro. It makes me feel real good just bringing her home and putting her at peace. And while there is some relief, Kiera's mom says there is no closure without knowing why this happened. Why you want to do something like that? District Attorney Erie Lee told reporters at the same press conference that they will be in contact with Kiara's family and will provide them with the victim's right services they are entitled to and deserved during this difficult time. Carl Wiggins' charges were upgraded with an additional murder charge along with what he had on him previously. That breaking update in the case of a missing Sampson County woman. Hi everyone, Joel Brown here now with that major development in the case of Kiara Wiggins. Her husband, Carl Wiggins, now charged with first degree murder. Her body was found last week in the Boykin Bridge Road area. Sampson County deputies making the disturbing discovery and confirmed it was Kiara on Wednesday. She's been missing since June and the case took a big turn later in the month when Carl Wiggins led police on a multi-county chase that ended in Wake County leading to his arrest. Today, prosecutors in Sampson County say they will tirelessly pursue justice for Kiara Wiggins and her family in the case. It's just like the sheriff's office did the investigation because we also owe them to do a good job for the good job they've done. But more importantly, we owe this victim's family and society and the citizens of this district that we do a good job. Carl Wiggins made a first court appearance before a district court judge Wednesday and has requested a court appointed counsel. He is being held in the Sampson County Detention Center without bond. Twisted crimes found his criminal record goes back 30 years. He is listed as a habitual felon with charges including resisting an officer, breaking and entering vehicles, and possession of a firearm by a felon and many more. We hope Kiara Wiggins gets the justice she deserves. Our sincere condolences to the friends and families of Kiara Wiggins. May Kiara's memory be a blessing for her family and for all who knew her and may her life and death be an inspiration and a turning point towards justice and increased protection for domestic abuse survivors. Please stay safe out there and see you guys in the next video.